how I did it. I haven't a clue. I really don't know. I don't do anything. Welcome to our in-depth look into the life of Doris Day, one of Hollywood's most beautiful stars. Over the years, her sunny personality and captivating acts have won over many fans. But there's more to her story than meets the eye. Today, we reveal the hidden facts about Doris Day's rise to fame, her personal problems, and the impact she left behind. Stay tuned, because we're about to tell you the real story of Doris Day, behind all the glitz and glamour. Life and career in the early years, from Cincinnati to fame. Living in a simple house in Cincinnati, Ohio, set the stage for Doris Day's amazing rise to fame. Doris Mary Ann Kappelhoff was born on April 3, 1922, to Alma and William Kappelhoff. She loved music and singing from a very young age. Even though they weren't rich, her folks supported her dreams and helped her get better at what she did. Doris learned to play music early on from her mother, who was an amateur artist and encouraged her to follow her musings. In her teens, Day's love of dancing seemed to lead her to follow that path. Her dream was to be a professional dancer, so she signed up for lessons. But her dreams changed a lot when she hurt her legs in a big car crash in 1937. Doris quit dancing because of this event, which broke her heart, but made her determined to find another way to use her artistic skills. Doris didn't let this get in the way of her singing. It didn't take long for her natural talent and love of singing to shine through. By the early 1940s, she was singing in a number of places and on radio shows. It was around this time that famous musician Les Brown became interested in her. Brown is a powerful person in the music business. He heard Day's amazing singing and asked her to join his band. This work together was a big turning point in Doris's career. In 1945, Doris Day recorded Sentimental Journey with Les Brown's band. The song was an honest ballad that became a big hit right away and had a strong effect on soldiers and their families during World War II. It was a song of peace and hope during a time of big changes in the world. The success of Sentimental Journey not only proved that Doris Day was a great singer, but it also made it easier for her to become an actress. In the early 1950s, Hollywood directors first noticed Doris Day's natural beauty and rising fame as a singer. In 1948, her first movie role was in the musical comedy Romance on the High Seas. The movie showed how good her voice was and how captivating she was on screen, which was the start of a busy playing career. Reviewers gave her good reviews, which helped her get ready for her next successes. Doris Day's first movies were mostly musical comedies, which brought out the best in her lively personality and singing skills. She was loved by her audience because she could be both warm and funny at the same time. Lullaby of Broadway, 1951, and My Dream is Yours, 1949, were two movies that helped make her a famous Hollywood woman. Even so, Doris Day could do more than just singing comedies. As she took on more parts, her career grew, showing that she was good at theater and could work in a variety of genres. Her quick rise to fame was helped by the fact that she was naturally funny and could connect with her audience on a personal level. By the middle of the 1950s, Doris Day was without a doubt one of the most bankable and well-known stars in Hollywood. In movies like Calamity Jane, 1953, and Pillow Talk, 1959, she proved that she was a talented actor with a unique blend of charm, comedy, and grace. Doris Day's early work showed how tough and adaptable she was. From overcoming personal problems to becoming a major star in Hollywood, her road was marked by determination and a never-ending love for her job. Her early success set the stage for a career that would last for decades and change American movies forever. The height of fame, Doris Day's career peaks. Doris Day reached the pinnacle of her career during the 1950s and 1960s, at which time she became one of the most well-liked and reliable actors now working in Hollywood. During this time period, there were a great number of movies that were really famous and that brought attention to her adaptability and undeniable appeal. In the musical western Calamity Jane, which was performed by Day in 1953, she had one of her best performances. Her vivid rendition of the title character not only highlighted her amazing singing abilities, but it also highlighted her deafness for comedy and drama. 
It is quite evident that Day has established himself as a leading performer, as this film was a commercial success. During the year 1956, Doris Day entered increasingly dramatic territory with the thriller film The Man Who Knew Too Much, which was directed by Alfred Hitchcock. This was a significant departure from her typical comedic material since it demonstrated her extraordinary depth as well as her capacity to handle material that was both emotional and challenging. Consequently, her image as a versatile actor was strengthened as a result of the accolades she received for her performance as a mother who was caught up in a dangerous plan. In 1959, Doris Day appeared in the romantic comedy Pillow Talk, which is considered to be one of her most iconic roles. Day's on-screen chemistry with her co-star was combustible, which served to complement Rock Hudson and contribute to the explanation of the film's enormous appeal. Due to the fact that Pillow Talk was a commercial success, Day was awarded a Golden Globe, which further solidified her reputation as a leading lady in the realm of romantic comedies. The success of this film led to Day and Hudson working together on a number of more films, which culminated in them becoming one of the most well-liked couples in Hollywood and bringing about a significant shift in the romantic comedy literary genre. In addition to her performances, Doris Day became a cultural symbol who embodied the ideal of the American woman. She was refined, well-mannered, and in good health. Her portrayal of such individuals represented an idealized picture that truly connected with viewers, and as a result, she was able to influence the attitudes of women in the media throughout her time period. Day was a person who may be considered a defining figure in American cinema due to her appeal across a variety of film genres and her ability to captivate audiences. Not only did her career during these years demonstrate her capabilities, but it also marked a significant turning point in the evolution of cinema cultures and cultural practices. Personal Life and Challenges Behind the Glamour Doris Day's personal life was defined by a lot of serious problems and difficulties despite the fact that she had a highly successful work. She had a hard time getting along with the artist Al Jordan when she was getting married for the first time due to their differences in personality. Everything moved from bad to worse very quickly after they began dating for the first time in 1941, and by 1943, they had already divorced. Other issues that contributed to the dissolution of their marriage included the unpredictability of Jordan's moods and the difficulty of combining his career with Day's growing renown. Both of these factors contributed to the separation of the couple. It was very clear that they were unable to be in every other's company. Day's second marriage, which was to the wealthy businessman George Weidler, was another marriage that ended in divorce. Day's second marriage was his second marriage. They hitched the wedding in 1946, and despite the fact that things seemed to be going well at first, the marriage did not last. Despite the fact that things appeared to be going well at first, Weidler did not wish to be of assistance to Day in accomplishing her professional goals, and as a result, the two individuals came to the conclusion that they had different priorities and decided to part ways. The divorce was finalized in 1949, the year that the decree was issued. Day's personal life was unstable as a result of her early marriages, which revealed how difficult it was for her to maintain a balance between her personal and professional duties. Day's marriages occurred while she was young. Day's third marriage, which began in 1951 and was to Martin Melcher, seemed to bring some degree of stability. This marriage was Day's third married relationship. Melcher, who was a manager with Day at the time but had worked as an agent in the past, was a significant contributor to Day's professional success. Melcher had an active role in Day's career and provided her with assistance all during the process of navigating the complicated world of Hollywood. In 1954, the year that their marriage culminated in the birth of their son, Terry Melcher, who would go on to become a well-known music producer, was born to them. Terry Melcher would go on to become a music producer extraordinaire. Nevertheless, 
there were a few problems that surfaced within this partnership to begin with. A big problem emerged as a consequence of Melcher's ineffective management of Day's financial resources. Melcher's poor financial decisions left him in a precarious position, despite the fact that Day was successful in his professional life. Day's life was successful both professionally and personally. Following Melcher's passing in 1968, Doris Day was given information that she had not anticipated, and that was a surprise. Her mental and financial problems were much more challenging to manage as a result of the fact that she found out that Melcher had left her with a substantial amount of debt. Day had to deal with not just her melancholy, but also a terrifying financial situation at the same time, which added to the individual problems that she was already suffering. Day had to deal with both of these things at the same time. She had a variety of health problems throughout her life, in addition to the challenges she faced in her marriages and with her income. Doris Day fought with all of these things throughout her whole life. As a result of the multiple health problems she was experiencing, she was forced to receive medical treatment as well as a period of time to recuperate, and many surgical procedures were performed on her. In spite of the fact that Day was confronted with all of these difficulties, his resiliency shone through. In addition to continuing her employment, she made it a point to preserve her reputation in the public eye and to contribute financial resources to charitable organizations. She is a strong and committed individual, as seen by the fact that she has remained a well-liked public figure despite the fact that she was going through a difficult time. Her dedication to her job is also evidence of her commitment to her accomplishments. In spite of the fact that she was dealing with the complex and frequently difficult reality of her personal life, Doris Day was able to keep her status as an American cinema star throughout the entirety of the whole situation. Later, career and legacy, Doris Day's enduring impact. During the decade of the 1970s, Doris Day's career underwent a significant transformation for the better. The transition from film to television was a significant one for Day, who had been the most famous actor in the film industry for several decades. A new chapter in her profession was started as a result of this move, which also provided her with a fresh approach to communicate with people while maintaining her popularity. The Doris Day Show was a famous sitcom that introduced Day to the attention of a new audience of viewers. Day played the lead role in the show from 1968 to 1973. The show made excellent use of Day's comedic timing and his charming good-natured personality, both of which had garnered her followers over the course of many years. Doris Day played the role of a widowed mother who returns to work as a career woman in the television show The Doris Day Show. In comparison to the women she had portrayed in her earlier films, this role was more contemporary and focused on her independence. The show was very well received by viewers, and as a result, Day became an even more well-known character on American television. Day was able to adapt her work to the altering trends in the entertainment business by transferring to television. Despite this, she was still able to maintain her primary fan base. The Doris Day Show is recognized not just for its hilarious episodes and Day's immense star power, but also for the way it portrayed a strong and capable woman coming to terms with challenges in both her personal life and her professional life. This is something that will be remembered for a long time. Day was able to demonstrate that he is capable of making adjustments and remaining relevant in the entertainment sector, which is experiencing rapid development. This was made possible by the popularity of the show. Doris Day, in addition to her work in television, devoted a considerable portion of her later years to performing acts of kindness for the benefit of other people. She did this both professionally and personally. It was in 1978 when she established the Doris Day Animal Foundation, which had a tremendous impact on her life outside of the entertainment world. Over the course of her life, this foundation evolved into a significant institution for her. Day had a great and unchanging affection for animals throughout his entire life. 
and the Foundation's aim was to provide protection and care for animals. Through his Foundation, Day was able to accomplish this mission. The profound and emotional location that she possessed within her was the source of the dedication that she had for this cause. This was something that she did because she had a deep affection for animals, and she was of the idea that they should be given the option to live together in harmony and togetherness. She was of the opinion that this should be supplied to them. The group was able to provide assistance to a wide range of activities as a result of the contributions that it made. These activities included the rescue and rehabilitation of animals, the education of individuals on how to properly care for animals, and the provision of financial support to animal shelters. Day's involvement in humanitarian activities not only provided her with something to do as an alternative to playing, but they also served to underline the fact that she was a kind individual. Not only did the work that she achieved have an impact on the lives of a significant number of animals, but it also made a contribution to the larger movement for animal rights. A significant difference was made in the lives of animals as a result of her efforts. Even though Doris Day was becoming older, the influence that she had on the culture of the United States was still quite significant. She left an unmistakable effect on the music, film, and television industries during the course of her career that spanned more than half a century. Although Day was dealing with a great deal of difficulties in his personal life, his profession and the services he provided to the entertainment industry were still lauded. By engaging with audiences through her performances and by contributing both her time and money to charitable organizations, she left an impression that will remain for a long time. On May 13, 2019, Doris Day reached the end of her life. Despite the passage of time, the legacy that she left behind is one that is still very much appreciated. Because of the substantial contribution she made to the film industry, television shows, and the music industry, her impact on American society will be felt for a very long time. Her influence will be felt for both of these industries. She became famous as a result of the combination of her warmth, charisma, and brilliance. And she is fondly remembered by both her supporters and those who were opposed to her. Both her intellect and the amount of effort that she puts into her job are demonstrated by her work, which includes her famous parts in romantic comedies and musicals, as well as her successful television shows. Her work is a testament to both of these qualities. In addition, her legacy demonstrates the significance of the charity work she did, particularly with regard to the caring for animals. It is clear that a famous person may have an impact outside of their employment, as demonstrated by the fact that Doris Day is committed to supporting charitable initiatives. Her efforts with the Doris Day Animal Foundation continue to be of great assistance to a great number of animals and inspire individuals to advocate for the rights of animals. When we are going through difficult times, the life and work of Doris Day demonstrate to us how significant character traits such as skill, toughness, and kindness can be. As a result of her contributions to the areas of entertainment and charitable work, Doris Day continues to be a well-liked and significant figure in the annals of USA history. Come along as we reveal the hidden history underlying Doris Day's illustrious career and nuanced personal life. Doris Day is well known for her timeless roles and radiant beauty, but her tale goes beyond Hollywood glitz Learn about the unseen hardships and incredible fortitude that molded her illustrious career. Additionally, remember to click on the video that appears on your screen to see more.